my time at the University of Nottingham was influential in everything I did in my career, um, from the engineering degree through to my PhD, which specialised in the factors affecting the performance of skeleton bobsleigh. And it was the PhD that ultimately drove me on into the sport of, of, of skeleton and to actually then progress through the ranks into the Olympics. So the personal highlight in my sporting career was in 2008. Um, I was the first man in the history of my sport to win the Triple Crown, which is the World Championships, the World Cup Series Championship and the European Championship all in the same year. So that had never been done in the 100 year history of the sport, so it was a particular proud moment for me, um, um, not just as, a, as an athlete, but as a, as a British athlete in a winter sport was, was particularly, um, yeah, it was particularly challenging and um, yeah, it was the highlight of my career. Yeah, so to be inducted into the University of Nottingham Sport Hall of Fame, it's a particularly honourable, um, you know, accolade. It's something that to be recognised at all levels, whether it's um, by the British Olympic Association or your sport or, or your university, it, it's an extreme honour that um, I'm, I'm extremely delighted to, to have uh, been presented with. So one piece of advice um, for students wanting to follow down the path of elite sport um, would be to know where you're going, um, have a plan and then pursue it with passion. So innovation was fundamental to me competing in four Winter Olympics. Um, being able to change with the times and being able to reinvent yourself um, year to year and Olympiad to Olympiad, that was really the key uh, of staying number one, is continually looking what the competition was doing and evolving to, to match that challenge. So as a British athlete competing in a winter sport, it's particularly difficult because we don't have uh, tracks, we don't have snow and ice here. Um, we're always up against athletes from the home nation. Um, one of the, um, if you like, secret weapons that we had was the research and innovation program that we had behind the sport. So the technology background where I came from really helped me in the sport to compete on even terms and, and um, if you like, bridge the gap to the home nations. 